The Wade Davis Bill, a Reconstruction Debate. The reconstruction of the Civil War was a long process that required the help from many people, including Benjamin Wade, Henry Davis, and serious debates. One of these debates was about the Wade Davis Bill that required 50% of Southern voters to swear an allegiance to the Union before a seceded state could form a new state government. While some people agreed with this bill, Abraham Lincoln ended up refusing to sign the bill, later vetoing it. This matters because it would have given Congress complete power over Reconstruction and Confederate states' readmission into the Union. This debate in 1864 reflects the divisions between Lincoln and the Radical Republicans. The Civil War started in April of 1861 and lasted until April of 1865, killing over 600,000 people. This started with the South seceding from the North to protect their state's rights and views on slavery. After the war ended, it led to Reconstruction, causing states to attempt and fix the inequities of slavery and its political, social, and economic legacy. Of course, there were many failed attempts. There were many people who tried to help during the Reconstruction, but not everything worked out. Radical Republicans, politicians who formed a faction with the Republican Party, played a major part in attempting to reconstruct the country. While there were many plans and attempts of Reconstruction, America's 16th President Abraham Lincoln proposed the 10% plan in 1863, a plan that claimed a southern state could be readmitted to the Union once 10% of its voters swore an allegiance to the Union. While some people agreed with this idea, the Radical Republicans ended up denying the plan, claiming it was too lenient on the South. They wanted to make it harder for former treasonous Confederates to regain citizenship. Lincoln stated in the second inaugural address, with malice towards none, with charity for all, showing that he was not a hateful person towards anyone. This also showed that he didn't want revenge. The Republicans blamed the South for starting the war, hence why they didn't like Lincoln's lenient plan. After all of these plans, Benjamin Wade, an American politician and lawyer from Ohio, worked with Henry Davis from Maryland to create the Wade Davis Bill. This bill was going to require 50% of Southern voters to swear an oath of allegiance to the Union before a seceded state could form a new state government. This was proposed on July of 1864. This bill would have also swore that each state's constitution would be required to abolish slavery, not accept secession, and disqualify Confederate officials from voting or holding office in government. The Radical Republicans thought this was a great idea and wanted the bill to pass. Congress eventually passed it, but Lincoln had other ideas. He wanted to stick with the 10% plan. He thought it would be too difficult to bring the Union back together with this bill. The Radical Republicans disagreed and thought it would be best to use the Wade Davis bill and were scared of what would happen to the bill. Unfortunately for the Radical Republicans, Lincoln pocket vetoed the bill, killing it from going into action. If the bill were to have passed, it would have given Congress complete power over Reconstruction, which would have completely changed things. Also, if the bill passed, it would have given Congress complete power over the readmission of Confederate states into the Union. Since the bill was vetoed, the Radical Republicans were furious. They tried to get it back, but it just didn't work. A few months later, a very unfortunate event occurred. Abraham Lincoln was shot at Ford's Theater by John Wilkes Booth on April 15, 1865. After that, Vice President Andrew Johnson took over. The Radical Republicans weren't very fond of him, but in the end, the Wade Davis bill was used as a blueprint for how President Johnson's approach to Reconstruction was carried out. 